What if we practice connection before redirection? Picture this, you're feeling really upset and someone in your life that knows you well, that cares about you, looks at you and says, you don't need to feel that upset. That's enough, no more. You're overreacting. Don't be silly, relax. People tell me, especially students, all the time that these words, even said out of love, can easily heighten their emotional state, having them feel disconnected, not seen, not heard, not validated. I would agree. So now let me share with you a different scenario. You're feeling really upset and someone in your life who cares about you looks at you and says, I can tell you're feeling a lot right now. Oh, there's so much going on in our world. I too have felt a lot of emotions. It's okay to feel how you're feeling. It's okay. Now, how do you feel? Students tell me they feel better, seen, heard, not alone, comforted, understood. Notice that I did not try to shift or change your emotion. I did not try to redirect you from one emotion to another. All I said was, it's okay to feel. And you probably just feel better and more comforted by that. So the next time your child is feeling a big feeling or anyone in your life, start with connection before redirection. No one wants redirection before connection. It's okay to feel how you're feeling. Start right there. It's okay to feel how you're feeling because space to feel is space to heal.